I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've talked to a camera. But that's how I always feel when I start talking to a camera, that I haven't done it in ages. How do I even begin this? There's so much going on behind the scenes that you don't see in a person's life and it's one of those couple of weeks or couple of months for me where there's a lot going on behind the scenes and you can't really tell. Yeah, so I always advocate for being kind and respectful to people but especially I think in, in this year and this circumstance, I'm not sure where you are in the world, but here in Europe, they're still, uh, well, lockdowns are tri still a thing and they're still trendy. So it's, um, why I think why it's difficult for me to come to terms with this is because if it wasn't for this situation, I would be on another continent living a completely different life and that fills me with a lot of grief. I've talked to a friend of mine about this and it seems to be a collective experience that we all have now, is still grieving and it's not necessarily the things you lose because it's not the things that you grieve, it's the, it's the feelings, it's the experiences and I think that when you are used to a certain level of freedom and a certain level of control over your plans and over your life and surrendering to a lot of things that are out of your control is is a process it's really really hard and that's been one of my challenges to surrender to what's happening and try not to rush time and try not to rush things to happen when the dark clouds come in and the light seems to just evaporate soak in all the darkness you can observe how it moves because nothing in this life is permanent be the observer surrender don't try to control things Everything will pass. Nothing is permanent. So, anyway, that's the ramble I have for you today. I've been, I've been busy working on the translation for my ebook into English, and it should be ready really, really soon. So I hope to get that out for you very, very soon. And I've also been experimenting with new recipes because uh, I could... I, I'm not sure if I'm going to do another ebook, but I get really, really bored with the foods that I eat. So I like to spice it up and I've been uh, experimenting with a, a granola bar with some, how do you say it, vermicelli? Uh, paste, not paste, pasta, you know, the really thin glass pasta. Do you, is there even a thing in English to say that it's glass pasta? You know, the Chinese see through um, pasta and with some really nice spicy curry sauce on it and a lot of vegetables. And even though I, I cannot lead a life that I imagined a year ago that I would be living right now, I am still trying to make the best of it and there's a lot that a lot of change going on behind the scenes that I'm, I'm, I cannot tell you guys about just yet. But it's been, it's been a rough couple of weeks. It's been dense and I haven't felt this urge, I think ever, to slow down and take it easy and surrender to what is now because the, the past and the future are quite abstract things in, in my book now 
and all we seem all all of us seem to have is the is the present moment the the generous and diverse present moment so what i am trying to do is to just surrender to that and be happy in the now and I've been journaling about it, I've been uh, skipping my social media, scro mindless scrolling, and I've been reading a really, really good book, and I've also ordered a couple of other books to just re-inspire me. So that's what's been going on. I think we'll manage to sneak in a trip this weekend into nature, which would be really, really fun. And other than that, there's nothing else that I can talk about right now uh, regarding our plans. But I guess what I'm trying to say is to surrender to the present moment and to be happy in the now, uh, even though you have plans and even though you have goals, uh, just be happy in the now. And it's the cheesiest, the most, well talked about advice but I guess the simplest truths are the truest my inner sage resurfacing and coming from me to you so I guess we should all enjoy spring we should all enjoy the flowers the nice warmer weather and with that being said I'll be going out to nature more often this spring and summer and I'm really really looking forward to that and I'll also be really really vigilant with my health and my nutrition and just be be happy with what is what is now peace Can you tell that it's the morning? My face looks quite fragile in the morning. Good morning, guys. It's been a nice couple of sunny days here, actually. The sun comes up really, really early and there's no clouds. So I've been really enjoying that. Even before 7 a.m. there's it's light and I couldn't be happier about that. I've been, yeah, I have my coffee here. We made some homemade oat milk the other day and I'm having my coffee with that. And I don't know, for some reason, if you make something, it always tastes better. I'm not sure if it's the effort that you put in that you appreciate that much more or, or love you feel. But we've made some mistakes with the oat milk. Uh, there was too much oat in the milk so it was really hard to get out so Daniel struggled a little bit but we'll perfect the recipe with time. I'm really happy that we we got the not milk bag. Not not milk bag, yeah, that's the word. And what else? Uh, I've been going out for rides with the one and only uh, horse.
and he's been rather fussy. It's not that's not the word fussy. He's very energetic. He uh, is getting close to retirement age, but he doesn't feel like it in his big head. So he's quite jumpy and speedy. So that's what's been happening. And I've also picked up yoga again, which is really good. I'm nice and sore from a couple of yoga workouts this week. So I'm quite happy about that. There's a couple of exciting things happening. I've picked up on a new client. I think I've told you guys about, but not the specifics. I'm working for a company that sells CBD products and CBD oil. So it's been really, really nice. I'm managing their social media pages and the giveaways and, the, and some of the website features. And it's been really, really nice. I've done my research on my fair share of research on CBD these past couple of weeks, so I'm quite quite educated on that. And I'm also taking 25% uh, uh, CBD oil at the moment, so we'll see how what happens. 